Hello everyone. Our project is clustering using particles form optimization. Our team is eight. We are Tarun, Charan, Yashashvi, and Vijender. Our coordinator is Dr. A. Sai Hanman. Overview. Introduction. Particles form optimization. Design modules and implementation code. References. First, PSO. It was proposed by James Kennedy and Russell in 1995. Inspired by social behavior of birds and fishes. Combine self-experience with social experience, and it is a population-based optimization. If we want to know what a particle is, what a swarm is, you'll know here. Swarm is a set of particles, whereas a particle is a potential solution with a position and velocity. Each particle maintains its individual best position, that is p-best, and swarm maintains its g-best, that is global best. PSO. Each particle tries to modify its position using the following information: the current positions, velocities, distance between current position and p-best, distance between the current position and z-best. So the design module. Coming to design modules, which is basic algorithm of PSO. First, we initialize the swarm matrix from solution space. Evaluate the fitness for each particle. Update p best and z best. Update velocity and position, and repeat the process until uh, we reach a terminal condition, which is the centroid should not change in both iterations, in the second iteration or maybe from last. This is the flowchart which depicts the PSO algorithm from the start to end, the implementation code sample, and these are the screenshots which show how. the project is done so how to run the project how iterations occur in command window as well in graphical view and uh, this is the final output so coming to the advantages part pso is based on intelligence it can be applied into both scientific research and engineering use it has no overlapping and mutation calculation research can be easily carried out by the speed of particle which shows how attributes of a particle are help in searching things uh, the calculation in pso is also very simple compared with other developing calculations it occupies the biggest optimization ability and it can be completed easily it adopts a real number code and it is decided directly by the solution coming to the disadvantages part the method easily suffers from the partial optimization which causes the less exact at the regulation of its speed and the direction and this method cannot work out the problems of scattering and the method cannot work out the problems of non coordinate system such as solution to energy field and moving rules of the particles in the energy field and now moving on to the execution part if we need to execute the code we have to press the green button over here and then the gui of the project will appear here as this and if we run will be asked the number of iterations suppose take it as 100 and then we start These are the iterations in the graphical view. Each iteration is displayed here. And we took the Irish data set as the data set and calculated these iterations, which can be seen here. Each iteration is individually shown. Graphical view. This is the final output, where the blue dot here represents the centroid, which we calculated. This blue dot. And then moving on to iterations. In each iteration. G best, that is the swarm best, is displayed with the iteration number. So here we can see the iteration number with the G best in each iteration. So here completes the execution of the project, and then these are the references. And thank you.